Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here from Traction Dynamics today and I'm going to show you how to install a Honda Line backrest on a 2018 or newer Honda Goldwing. This particular saddle we're installing on today is a 2021 and so we're going to end up with a backrest here in this location on the bike and I'm going to show you how that works. So the first step, um, the Honda Line instructions are pretty good on this one but if you want to come over I'll kind of start maybe you can see better from there there's a decorative you got to get this decorative cap off the saddle so there's a tab here you just pull on this and the decoration will pop out to open up the hole in the saddle and that won't be reused uh, let's see we're just gonna follow the Honda instructions because they're pretty good uh, they tell you to put a little grease on this pin I got a little grease over here just make so your thing doesn't squeak it, the it pivots forward uh, to allow your wife to get on and off a little easier <coughs> uh, this bracket and kind of the main seat bracket are what we're going to be assembling here so as shown these well nuts up and the seat bracket mounting tab will be up so you'll start the pin and of course there's a spring springs are so much fun and there is an vent end to the spring you can see that that's going to go down on the assembly so the vent end down here the flat end against the plate push on that and we're going to get the in to pass through is get everything aligned so kind of check the action there and make sure that's working there is a washer <clears throat> the hardware is grouped in bags and an e-clip so e-clips can be tricky to put on if you're not careful I like to get them started kind of lined up hold them and then you'll probably have needle nose pliers in your drawer at home and you're gonna put the tip of the needle nose plier on the e-clip and the other end on the pin in the middle so touch here and here and pull them together like that and you're listening for that nice clipping sound right and when you're done look all three of the tabs will be engaged into the groove where the clip goes so just make sure that's all nicely seated in there all right happy with that checking the action <clears throat> the next thing is you're gonna thread the stopper bolt up in and put the nut on like I did so it comes in from the bottom this way it, you won't be able you can't do it wrong because it won't thread there and what you're looking for is that to be, act as the stopper um, now actually to be able to show you this you won't be able to see most people want the the backrest forward in its range and so this is where the little product, which we're going to install on this as an accessory, the uh, backrest comfort block comes in. Because in order to get this into a comfortable position for the rider, the bolt ends up on its edge. The stopper bolt ends up cocked way up on its edge. Can you see that? Let me get on like that. So that's not really optimum for this. So. When we put the comfort block on, it lets this come back into a more normal operating range, but yet spaces the backrest up into a good location. Um, next, we're going to add these well nuts into the saddle. And there's little pockets, <coughs> and they're designed to grip the well nut. So you slide it into the pocket, it'll get close to being started. And same way we did the E clip, you're going to pull and snap them in with a pair of needle nose pliers or regular pliers will work on this job All right, these are a little weirder they go in at kind of an angle they're not flat so and there's not nothing really to grip here so you're gonna have to just kinda force them with a tool until they snap into place there you go <coughs> See, it wants to go off into the seat that way, but that's not how it goes. It goes at an angle, so be sure to you, you catch this detail on the video of what I'm doing here. 
all right? <clears throat> so, like a 45 degree angle, all right? Next, they have you lace the, by the way, this gets very fiddly. Um, they have you lace this through the saddle. You can kind of see where that's going to go there. All right, so we lace that through. And then there's a short bracket and two six millimeter flange bolts. And so this is going to go here. So you can kind of see why some of this has to be disassembled to come to you. A lot of the stuff with Honda Line accessories is ridiculously unassembled, you know, particularly for the price. They, I don't know why they don't subassemble what they can for you, but everything comes completely apart. But some things like this, obviously, they, there's no way to pass this through the saddle, so it has to be disassembled. All right, <clears throat> tightening that. Uh, let's see. Next is this base plate, uh, two rubber bumpers go in here. Use some good old fashioned spit. Poke those through. I like to make sure you spin them when you're done so you know that they're fully seated and in, the, in their grooves. If they're stuck, that means they're probably not fully seated through yet. And I don't usually grease things like this because I don't ever want them to pop apart. I just deal with it being a little pain for the moment that I'm that I'm putting it together. <coughs> all right. Next is we're going to bolt this all up. So where's the... Okay, so those four. All right, I see what's going on. So we're going to put one bolt in the front here and there's threaded holes so one nice thing about this is Honda's got well nuts or w w welded to the whole assembly so you won't really have to uh, fight with with nuts everything's kind of in its proper place to begin with so we'll just start all this hardware in here leaving everything loose till the last minute. So four bolts across this bracket. Um, is that, yeah, it has to go that way. Yep, up. This must rest on, uh, there's a cross member there in the frame the bike that this sits on <clears throat> so you can see like I said this is a little fiddly to get all the hardware going and lined up so everything everything's super loose and last two bolts here this is those angled well nuts we started with Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just snugging the hardware and then I'll tighten it once I have everything snug. And <clears throat> as far as under the saddle goes, we're done. So. Tighten everything up. All right, now we're done there. Now, if you were just installing the Honda Line backrest and not 
uh, installing our Traction Dynamics uh, backrest comfort block. You pry that up, two studs there, and two nuts for you to tighten. And I think that I, that actually does hit a stop there. So this you got to kind of crawl under there with a wrench or or a little ratchet, um, a three eighth drive or a quarter inch drive ratchet will work great with this. So you put those these two nuts on um, here. So I'm not gonna install. This is our backrest comfort block that spaces the the backrest a little bit forward and raises its location slightly so that um, uh, as you move this forward um, in its range, where most people actually use it, it starts dropping down to low. So as you move it forward in its range, it starts dropping down. Do you see this here? So the backrest comfort block lifts it up a little bit so that it doesn't overlap the butt pad and leaves it in a range. So you tighten those two nuts, and then the last step, tilt that back. These three kind of tits here. Little spit, a uh, little grease on this is actually helpful if you grease these. And this goes in here, and you, you can grab the little tits there and pull them through with a pair of needle nose pliers or your fingertip. And uh, but it's a little bit of close quarters in there. Um, So anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do this completely because I am going to put a backrest comfort block on this for this customer today. So there's a, that will look basically like that when it's done. Uh, if you, I'm going to put a link to another video here. This is a 2021 backrest on a 2021 seat. But as you'll notice, they have not done anything to match the seat cover to it. So... Um, but that is what it is, and that's what it looks like. All right, so there's how to install your Hondaline backrest. My name is Max. Please give this video a thumbs up, and if you, and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is great content. If you want to support my channel, you can hit the join button, and for a few bucks a month, uh, it supports the channel and uh, and helps keep this content coming. So, uh, and also gives you discounts on Traction Dynamics branded products. So, thanks a lot for watching.